What is up, everybody on YouTube? Max Brock here with another video. Today we're going to be doing speed tests between the Axon 7 and the Samsung Galaxy J7 2016. Now here's the thing. I'm recording this phone, or what phone? I'm recording this speed test with the Alcatel Idol 3. Now this phone is notoriously known on here on my channel that it doesn't have the best mic. But what I'm trying to do now is I'm, I'm trying to see if uh, what I'm doing is going to work better as far as the song quality. But I have no choice but to use this camera because I will use my Blue R1 HD camera. It's a good camera, but uh, it doesn't get as uh, good as video as the uh, outputs out here as far as the quality of the video. So anyway, enough of me talking. I did a video like this before on my channel with the J7 and the Axon, and it seems as though a lot of people were saying uh, the Axon wasn't on the performance mode, and, and yada, yada, yada. So I just thought, why not do a round two and see if uh, that first one was a fluke? You know, like that Mayweather and Pacquiao fight, except the J7 is more like a up-and-coming boxer. <laughs> So let me see here. Um, no shots. It's still a good phone. I love it. Probably my favorite phone, actually. Let me go ahead and show you guys. So as far as the performance mode or the power plan, I am under the performance. As you can see clearly, smart power save. I was not on that one in the last test, but I'm just going to show you guys that I am on performance right now. I am going to also clear out everything. For the J7, everything is cleared as well. So as you can see, between both of these phones, we have the same apps, almost the same exact home screen. Well, not home screen, but a uh, layout. So the first app I'm going to open up is one I like to do always is YouTube. So in three, two, one. I don't know. Would you call that a tie? Would you get to the J7? Who knows? But let me go ahead and do it like this here. Let me go ahead and close both of them out and do it again. So, three, two, one. All right, so we got a clear winner. Axon. So, that was the YouTube there. So, now I'm going to go ahead and go into uh, Google Play. So, three, two, oops. <laughs> it's hard to do it with the viewfinder here. Give me a second. I'm going to try to test the RAM later as well. So, uh, Google Play. So, well, Google Plus, excuse me. So, three, two, one, go. That wasn't even a count. Jesus. You see how fast it opened up that one there? That was insane. I wasn't even expecting that one. All right, look like a little embarrassment is going to be taking place here. <laughs> so, we got Twitter. So, in three, two, one. Oh, and by the way, as far as the specs, Axon 7 has the uh, Snapdragon 820. And the J7 has the media, not who's not media tech, has the Exynos 7580, I believe. So as far as processors go, the 820 is a little bit more, has a little bit more power. Um, I say little, but it's more powerful, I should just say. So the next app I'm going to do is Amazon. Why not? So Amazon, so three, two, one. I'll give it to the uh, Exxon. Oh, yeah, Exxon one. So, just to show you. In my opinion, I don't, like, if you ask me, of course, the Exxon 7 is going to be a little bit faster than the J7. It's A20 in there. But I can guarantee you that I did not have the phone on the smartphone or the smart plan mode when I last tested it. It may seem like I did, but I didn't. It's just sometimes apps want to open faster on their phone. It's just how it is. Can't really help that. Uh, so let me go ahead and go into uh, Best Buy. So three, two, one. Okay. Boom, it won. And I'm going to go ahead and go into Drippler. So three, two, one, go. All right, give it to the next one. It's taking a long time to load there. All right, so the next thing I'm going to go into is I'm going to run. We'll do Facebook. Let's go ahead and do Instagram. So three, two, one. All 
All right. Well, I'll give it to the J7 because it did load up. The, it did the refresh faster. I'm um, go ahead and do lift. So three, two. Well, no, it will show my location, won't it? Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and do title over here. So three, two, one, title. That was a tie. Next thing I'm gonna do is Google Play Music. Now this one should be easy. So three, two, one. Wow. <laughs> no contest. All right. So the Axon Seven clearly won that one. And so I'm gonna go ahead and open the Play Store now. So three, two. One. All right, sweet. And then also, let me show you size guys something as well. Let me close the Play Store out. Let me show you guys something with the Play Store that I noticed on the axon here. And maybe I just get amazed by stupid things, but <laughs> check this out. Look how fast the Play Store opens on axon. Watch this. So three, two, one. Ah, you seen that, right? Video don't lie. I hit it at the same time, and the Axon just flicks that shit open. I don't mean to curse. But yeah, so let's go ahead and do a RAM test now, because I opened up a bunch of apps. This has 4 gigs of RAM. This has 2. Uh, don't expect it to have everything running in the background, because it is Android, but let's go ahead and see. So YouTube has to reload. Let's go ahead and go into Google+. Plus. Have it in the background. Axon held it in the background. Let's do Twitter. Axon held it in the background. Let's do Amazon. Axon held it in the background. Well, it looks like it did a little reload. I may be tripping. Best Buy held it. Just did, it did a quick refresh at the end. Dripper was held. Instagram was held. Title still there. Play music still in the same menu. So yeah. So obviously the Axon is a better phone. Okay. Round two. It's pretty evident that the Axon is the more superior phone. I'm sorry for bumpy cam ahead of time. And also I'm sorry about the microphone on the Alcatel here. I got a head I got a microphone plugged into it, but I don't believe it's actually using a mic that I got on my shoulder here or strapped to my uh, my shirt or sound. I think it's using the microphone in the phone. But this video is pretty short here. I don't want to go too far into it because I show you guys the RAM. I would do a browser test, but I just wanted to show you what the app open process is like. Uh, matter of fact, we can run a game. And I'm sorry about the lawnmower over there. I always choose a perfect time to do videos. So, a game that I have on both devices, Temple Run. Let's do Temple Run. So, open up Temple Run. So, three, two, one. All right, so you see which one to open up first. I do have Temple Run 2, but it does act kind of strange between both of them. Um, what other games? Well, let's just try Temple Run 2 and see what happens. So, 3, 2, 1. Yeah, that's the, it connects me to Google Play games when I do it on here. So, yeah, it makes me do this. It's already loading over here. Okay, so it's downloaded contact and configure. So because it has to download a game, this one is gonna open it faster. So not a fair test. So but anyway, it's pretty much gonna be the end of the video here. Speed test round two with the Samsung Galaxy J7 and the Axon 7, or should I say Axon 7 and the Samsung Galaxy J7 2016. So if you have any other questions, if you want to see a round three, maybe you thought this was the fluke as well. Because right now we got the J7 winning one, we got the Axon winning one, so they're both tied. So we're going to have to break that tiebreaker pretty soon. So if you guys want to see that, let me know. But as you do know, my name is Max Rock. I want to say, of course, thank you for watching this video. And you guys, have a good day. Peace.